This is the exact beginner strategy one of our members used to hit their first 10K in profit in just 30 days. And he was only 17 years old. And if you're somebody that's been thinking about getting into e-commerce and you're trying to really make it happen, this strategy that he's gonna go over is gonna give you step-by-step -step on how to make it happen. And if you're ready to really go in and make this Q4 your best year yet, go ahead and apply down for low for our one-on-one -on -one mentorship or just DM me the word YouTube on Instagram. Let's get right into the video. I got my man 17 year old pressed and going absolutely crazy with everything that he's doing with his organic marketing store. So it's not through ads, it's all just free organic content and just driving traffic to sell. So something super big and he's been going absolutely crazy with this. So I just wanted to bring him on to talk about it because um, it could be very lucrative with like organic traffic and just also having creatives to scale. Man, how's everything going with your store? Uh, right now it's been like doing this thing for the month. What would you say where you at for June? So far I'm at like 14 point up thousand. And, and then like with the being organic traffic, like what's the profit margins look like on, on something like that? Around 63%. <laughs> yes sir indeed, 63%. And my man's is, uh, you're currently in high school, right? Yeah. So, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. But if I was in high school and I had like, bro, I've had a thousand dollars in my bank account. I felt like I was something, but you was um doing really well and that's big. But what would you say is the biggest thing that contributed to that type of success? Just stay a consistent main thing. Like I've been consistent for like a year now. And it's finally starting to work. Yes, indeed, man. Well, that's big. Um, are you able to go through the process of like how you first, how you find products, how you, what, 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 what do you think about whenever you're creating a videos and then what gives you confidence behind like a, like a, a video that you create? Yeah. So usually when I'm finding products, I'll make a, I'll make a new account on TikTok and Instagram. It's like a burner account and I'll, I just go through, I'll go to the search bar and type in a prototype versus product, Amazon finds, or TikTok made me buy it. Mm -hmm. And then those search, those search things, it'll just bring up a whole bunch of products. And you just go through, like all of them, basically optimize your um, For You page to only show products. And then after about a day, I'll go back on and on my For You page, it's just new trending products. And I just scroll through till I'll find a good one that I think is good. What's the criteria you look for when every, what makes it a good product? With organic, really, really something that catches your attention, but also solves a problem. Like I try to stay away from things that just sit there like a little humidifiers and stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff that just sits there because it'll be hard to make content for because you just basically recording it. A hundred percent. Nah, that's a hundred percent facts. And then... Are you comfortable with like sharing the product that you got you got going on or how you feel? Yeah. Yeah, you ever show the videos? Yeah. I don't I can't really for some reason my MacBook's not letting me log into my Instagram account though. Dang, okay. Wait, as in uh, as a good thing or like uh that's normal? I don't know. It's just <laughs> password is just saying uh I can't log in. Oh yeah, no worries. Um but then you could uh, if yeah. you want, you could probably just type it in on your stuff if you can. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm pull it up real quick. But as I'm pulling this up, y'all got any questions? Like, come on, 14K, of course. Like, if you you got the receipts for it, because some people might think you're lying, man. 17 year old lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where you at? Instagram. How long have you been uh, drop shipping for, like, overall? Like, maybe not this product, but like. Uh, I started last july and then like this like a winning product like just now like you just got i did i started off with organic and then i wasn't really good at it so i went to tiktok ads and facebook ads and with ads you need money to you need money to start start out with so you can find your target audience but i really didn't have any money so i just took a break and went back to organic and try to build my money up and then I started getting good at it. How long did it take for you, like, to start building that organic traffic, like, on your videos and then convert them to your website? Uh, do you mean just on this product or just in general? Just in general. Um, I mean, it took a little while, but mainly it took, I mean, I've been going for, like, a year now and just now starting to see results. But I'm really, it's because I used to rush on my videos. Probably, I'll probably shoot, like, 
15 videos in one day and just post them throughout the week. And they low quality videos and stuff. And I realized I started seeing success when I post. I'll probably make like two to four per day and really focus on the lighting and the, like not the transitions, all that. Just really focusing in on the video. Okay. And not like the steal your sauce, but like if you were someone like one of us who wanted to start this organically and like with a new Instagram page or TikTok page, how would you kind of go about it? Like, are your videos showing your face in it or, you know? No, I just, um, well, I really try to find products so I don't got to show my face. Like, I just hold my camera like this and then show me using it. Okay. That finish other product too as well. Hey, what high school do you go to, bro? Uh, shoemaker. You know, oh, you from the K. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, sir, bro. Like, oh, they were crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. Like, crazy. That's my guy, though. Uh, Jesse went to, we both went to Ellison. So, like, we, uh, shoemaker's in our hometown. That's why we're like, oh, that's crazy. Like, man, that's, but, so here's the videos and, which one went super viral? Um, uh, keep going. And how many times you posting per day? Uh, I was doing two at first, but now I'm doing three. Yeah, so this is the first one that really popped off right here. Eighty nine thousand likes. This is incredible! Congratulations. <laughs> the video is like we're hot. Y'all can hear my sound on my my computer. No. No. Can you show? You guys should be. I was gonna go to class before I got high. Come on, yo. Check it out. Uh, I could have cheated and I could. La da 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 da. And but inside the comments, they're going absolutely crazy. Like super crazy. And. He found the winning format and every single video is the exact same way. So this one is 3.2 million. This one's 2.6 million. Same formatting. I go to class before I got high. Come on, yo. Check it out. Uh, I could have cheated and I could have passed, but I got high. Uh, uh, I was gonna go to class. Maybe another one. I went and had. Just, 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 posting this product but their videos weren't good at all and they was promoting it as like a food tray but it was kind of small yeah but with a full meal on it and i seen in the comments people was talking about using it as a rolling tray yeah I, I, <laughs> he said i'm taking full advantage of it so that's yeah. kind of like bro we just literally was talking about on our last call about the angles of like how you can change the angle of a product and tremendously take off so you did exactly that like not a food tray, something else type of tray, but you took that format and ran with it. And um, I see that these two were the same sound behind it. What made you test a different sound to for this one? Um, I just want, I just wanted to test out different things, but that's really the only video that went viral on a different sound. I see. All of the other ones are really very focused on the other sound now. I see. And now you just post them like three times a day. Um, how long does it take? You? Where where are you editing these videos on TikTok or on? Uh, yeah, I just edit them on TikTok and then save them to my drafts, and then I post them on TikTok and then repost them to Instagram. Are you getting more traction on TikTok or Instagram? Uh, Instagram, cause TikTok they don't really they get in street ever since they've been talking about it getting banned, so they'll just shadow ban uh this product on TikTok. I see. No, that's big, that's big, that's big. And then just get posted and get some more in here. Do you ever get discouraged when they're you like post and they don't perform as well? Or like what's your thought process? Is it like every five or every ten it go well? Or how do you say uh, it? Really like that? See? Literally just 
um, staying consistent. Like every video that doesn't perform, I look at it to try to see what I did differently. And it's just like you can see right now on my um, newer videos, like this one with me with the go down a little, with the the one with 430k views. That one's starting to go up. I just my clips are good. I just got to get better at like causing controversy because the, the videos they don't go viral off likes and stuff they'll go viral off comments and shares 100 percent. so that's super fire and that's big how do you what do you how do you make it controversial like that um just different things like uh, i think it was on the go to the one i just posted a couple minutes ago oh no the one under the accident yeah so, so i spelled fiend differently as in uh the one that went viral where everybody was arguing like how do you spell fiend uh, i'm not here on purpose yeah and just little things like that have you thought about responding to the comments with like like based off with the product yeah i, I was just actually gonna start that today like making um videos replying to the comments like so that'll be something there to where you always post now that we got a, a good idea of like that, does anybody have any questions about like the this before I move on to the next question? Yeah, so uh, I've been doing the same thing, and then like a couple of, like my videos got like two K views and stuff now. But like, you got any advice for like I guess how to make that you know that viral viral video? Like, couple, I see you got a couple with like a couple million views and stuff. Like, a couple of mine got like two thousand, three thousand views, but like I'm not hitting that you know like big time viral video. You got any advice for that? Like, uh, I'd say. Before, like, what's the name of your page so we can look at it? Uh, it's called The Breathing Otter. Oh, The Breathing Otter. Uh, yeah. Are you posting on Instagram and TikTok? Yeah, but I mean, TikTok shadow, like, it's, it's mad weird. Like, I get like two views, 30 views. Like, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, TikTok weird enough. Yeah. See, like, a couple of mine got like, they've been like going pretty good now. Like, a couple of mine got a thousand, two thousand, but like, Cause I love this. So usually, usually what I'll try to do, I'll try to have like multiple clips and have each clip like one to two seconds long. Mm -hmm. Like in most of my videos, I'll have like seven to eight clips with each clip being like one to two seconds, mainly okay. one second. And just quick transitions. Right. Like changing angles so people not. Because basically when you change the angle every second, that's like people watching a different video. So instead of them scrolling, watching the video for one second, that got the same clip, scrolling again, watching another video for one second. Your video is constantly changing, so it'll make them stay on it longer. Right. You got any advice for like, I guess my product's more like a, I guess like a low key type, but you can't really like, you know what I mean? Like do some crazy stuff or like crazy sounds on it. So like, I guess it's kind of different like niche. Like I'm probably like targeting different people, like you know what I mean. Yeah, I would just, I would look up products like in that niche. Okay. Like type in, type in things in that niche to see like which type of sounds are are doing good in there. Right. How people are marketing you and stuff. Okay. And go from there. Got you, bro. Boy, there are some great questions now. Right, yes, and are really good. That's fire. So, um, for this one's kind of for both of you guys, um. I see you getting traction too, Kaden. Sure. Do y'all add hashtags to y'all videos? Like, hi, uh, see, I just did explore because uh, I know I talked with a uh, Preston and he said explore and it's been blowing up since I did explore. Like, okay. so, but like if you yeah. scroll like the one right before that, like the one under this one, or like uh like before they blew up, like the one with like a hundred, I didn't even I didn't put explore, so it didn't blow up. Like none of them have explore on there. But like as soon as I put explore on there, it started blowing up for some reason. Or not blowing up, but you know, like got more traction now because so i wrote explore yeah i don't you uh, explore explore it is but i ain't been getting no like psych views though it's strange but yeah, that's what i also was gonna ask because you know like with our ad well when you run an ad on facebook i'm not for sure how tiktok goes you can we have tiktok too you can immediately click you know what I'm saying from that video to see the product so i guess with these videos they have to actually click on our page to go to the yeah. link is that what uh, kind of makes conversions harder or how do y'all kind of work with that? Yeah, so with any, it'll bring in like a, a boatload of traffic 
but your conversion rate will be naturally lower because it's just it's not it's like a funny video for views wow. it's not really a salesy video so you're not really selling to them in the video like usually people in my comments they'll just say where can i get this from or need this something like that and then i'll just comment under that link in bio okay yeah. and we should maybe think of something bro you use mini chat yet mm -mm. you can use mini chat you can have people like comment down in the in the I would test it, but comment the word boom, and then they'll send them the, the link to the direct message and you know, it'll be automatic. So if people put the word fiend and then they comment that. Yeah, that's what like, I see all the e-com people, they be like, comment, like, comment, get rich or something. And then like, it'll send you that link. Yeah, I see that. Any chat, I, I get it. So it says mini chat, we can automate that. But yeah, I'd be doing it. You can see that on my, you'll see it on my comments. Like if you say comment the word guide, it'll send you a link to certain things, but. You automate that, bro. Now we get the, the comments going. It's a test, you know? And it takes you out the process of uh, like having to send it to them or tell them link in bio. It'll automatically do it for you using AI. I'd be inspired. But cool, cool, cool. Now, of course, now we looking at the, what's the what's the uh, results of this? Are you able to share your screen and showcase what, what it's able to bring in? Like, is this true? I mean, it's true, make a, make a, make a. Yeah. Yeah, so today, the past couple of days been real slow, but it's starting to pick back up. Like you can see, starting to come up a little. What about for the month? When did you really start this stuff? Um, June 9th. June 9th. So it's been what? It hasn't been 20 days. Yeah. 14K in less than 20 days. Oh, that's crazy. And that's for organic. So you're not even paying for ads. You're just paying the sources. Yeah. Like 63% margins. That's crazy. That's incredible. <laughs> and then Tina, like that is a late. Incredible. Now, what is your goal now? Because bro, they got no expenses. You got school in the next couple a couple weeks, bro. Like, what's what's your plans? Really, my plan is just to keep going hard and just stack it up. Yeah. Do you plan on going to college? Uh, yeah, but I really, I'm really focused on this. Yeah. What happens if this go? What's What's a uh, uh, monetary goal for this that you're trying to hit? Um, I'm still I'm still learning. Like my first week, I think I made it to like eight k, and I think it's been like around three weeks now. So it's like you have a a really big week, and then like a a regular week. Like I went a regular week. It's still a lot, but I was profiting like three hundred a day. But the really big week, I was profiting seven hundred to the like, twelve hundred a day. Facts, and I see like right here, this was a, a really big spike of um. What was that? Your first what? Oh yeah, good. That was a, a 2K day, but how is that? Hitting your first 2K day. You think that was possible at 17? I I knew it would eventually happen. I didn't think this early though. <laughs> <laughs> that is, bro, 2K, like that's a, yeah, that's, that's, that's someone, like, people try to make that in like two weeks or they make that in a week or whatever, but you made that in a day, like that's, and, and then like, bro, in 20 days, 14K, man, well, how does your parents think? Cause I know, bro, I know your brother is like super fire about it, but, uh, yeah, ask me to teach him. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I gotta get him right. Go crazy for real, for real. Yeah. But my parents, like, they just making sure I manage it. They know I'm, and they know I'm responsible. But like now daily, they'll come in my room. What you at for the day? Where you at today? <laughs> I did, and I'm happy about it. Nah, that's amazing, bro. Nah, that's super big, and you got so much more, and that's coming too. We got Q4, like, bro, like Q4 is probably gonna be one of the biggest, biggest times for you to go absolutely crazy. Honestly, like, that's gonna where you can host three, five times a day. Do you plan on like taking it to the level of branding? Yeah, fire. I know you said you was thinking about getting some affiliates on that. On the on the side, how's that been going? Good. I had a lot of um, a lot of famous people order so, and they actually texted me first saying that they wanted to be affiliates. So when theirs comes in, I just shoot them over an affiliate link, and we'll start working from there. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But now nah, that's big. Anybody got any questions? Cause I, of course I got some more, but I want to make sure y'all get any questions taken care of or anything. And look, I just want to tell you, congrats, bro. You done got me motivated to start, like, heading in a new direction, for sure. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. I know, Sandra, you just got in. Would it be smart to, like, test, like, you know how I talked about you, which you, uh, like, making a new account, and I guess, you know, seeing these viral products and, like, 
posting them and seeing like if any of them go viral, like just making a whole new account. You know what I mean? Like that's the original ones. Uh, I've seen a couple of accounts like that. I mean, yeah, you could they have multi like products on the page, like yeah, that's actually where I got my product from. It was just somebody posting random products, but you could try that. And the main one big thing is when you make a new account, um, you'll probably be getting like a hundred views, stuff like that on every post because you got to warm the account up. Right, that's what. So you got to like, it probably take a couple of days. You just make the new account. Just going through, doing stuff that you would do on your regular account, like liking posts, watching videos and stuff. Because if I make an account right now and then post post a video right after I make it, it'll automatically think I'm a bot. Right. That's when you, that's when you get the videos with two views and all that. Right, for sure. Big one. And then, like, let's say, are are you testing out multiple products or are you kind of focused in on that one right now? Uh, I'm I'm still looking for more products. But I'm also focused on this one. A hundred percent. What would be your process of trying to find another one? Like, are you are you always just rolling on TikTok first, or you scroll on Instagram? Do you follow any accounts? Um, I just be, I mainly scroll on my burger account on Instagram. TikTok is cool, but it'll just keep reshowing the same products. It'll just keep reshowing you the same four products. But Instagram, it's, it shows you new things. So I say Instagram is the main thing you need to focus on, posting wise and looking for products. Do you look up any hashtags? Mm, nah, the only time I looked up hashtags is when I was just starting out and I was looking up like TikTok made me buy it and all that. Yeah, and I wasn't doing as well as just like liking, engaging with all the other content and then just letting it come to you. Yeah, when you look that stuff up, it doesn't really show you new trending products. It'll just show you past products. Yeah, you just do that so it can optimize your for you page to show you new trending products. And are you saving those videos or are you just like liking them? Are you like liking, saving, or just? No, I just like them. But then when my after, like the account is set up and all that, to where it's only showing me products, when I find one, of course I'll save it. See, okay. So save it just like, oh yeah, I'm keeping my eye on that one. Yeah, and then like later, after I save like 10, I'll go back and look through the ones I save and like cut all the options down. Nice. And I know what we had talked about because we had added a pixel, but for that specific product, it's kind of hard to really uh, do that as a code audience because Facebook might take it down. Um, have you thought about running any ads towards another product if you were to get another viral one going that wasn't like that? Yeah, to scale it up. That would go super crazy. Even with the one you got right now, one thing that we're trying to do is set up. We got the pixel set up, but you got to get enough purchase. So now just doing some retargeting to those people, but... Just got to have the right creative but probably like an image ad that you retarget them with because you're getting so many people to your website today was like how many like 300 people to your website or uh i have 460 right now or 60 that's just so many people that you can easily like retarget but you gotta have the right creative which would be something but that's still because you know those people that are coming to the website they have it's a unique it's a uh, uh, a certain audience so you just gotta be able to easily identify them with the right creative but now you're killing it killing it man there's so many there's so many things to, to be asked about it because uh one thing that blows my mind is everything that you're doing is for absolutely free it's like you're doing the the product research for free just scrolling on instagram and with those videos are you buying them from amazon then creating a video or are you testing out another way uh no i just i'll just order it from amazon okay and then just, do you pick a day? Like, how do you do three videos a day? Three to four videos a day? Like, just easy, simple. Usually, usually, like, I'll sit down and think of my schedule for the week. As I play, I play sports. So, if I know I'm going to have a lot going on Monday through Wednesday, then Sunday, I'll probably film all day. Yeah. Just save them in my drafts and then post them throughout the day. How many is that in a day? Um... Well, since it's summer, I've just been doing four because I got a lot of time every day. But when school starts back up, I'll probably be doing, like, i say probably, like, seven. A day? Uh, seven Friday through Sunday. And then okay. just a day. So 21, make 21 videos throughout those three days. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. no. Nah. 
I'll be like, having my drafts and then post them. Yeah. Have you been scheduling them on your IG or you physically post them? Uh, I started the scheduling them when you showed me. And is, it still works good though? Like it doesn't mess up the, uh, the way it performs? Yeah. Oh, fire. That's super. Because I know sometimes whenever you start scheduling them, it doesn't perform as well, but that has been the case with Instagram. I think it's with third parties. You got like a best posting times like to schedule like posts? Uh, Not really on Instagram. I just say anytime between 12 p.m. And 10 p.m. Okay. 12 p.m. and 10 p.m. Yeah. Morning times don't do well? Not really. Like, I could post it in the morning, and it'll, it'll be slow until the afternoon and all that. Then it'll start shooting up. I see. I think that tracks for the type of product, though. Honestly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's definitely an, um, an audience for that specific like group. Which, but that's those are, like, usually your best ones. You really create a brand off of that, 100%. No, and I also see that um, I don't know if this could be the case, but um, my sales they go they went down like as the end of the month came, and my parents told me it's just cause that's around the time when like people's money starts running out and they get paid at the beginning of the month. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, hundred percent. Yeah, so you probably, you'll see probably a big influx anywhere from like the the fourteenth to like the like till now, honestly. But yeah, you'll definitely see that for sure. But uh, as Bailey, like, what's your plan, bro? Now I'm just trying to figure out like what are you trying to do next? Um, the long term play. Um, I mean, I'm still looking for new products every day, while still posting with this one three times per day, so I could. So when I have low days with this one, I can maybe have a high day with my other product. So it's just consistent. And then building a brand around one of them. And do you create like specific niche stores when you find these products or you got like a general store? No, see with organic, you'll have to, you can't really do a general store with organic. Like I do one product store. Okay. At least not. Uh, no. That's <laughs> It doesn't show up. No, let me go to it. What is share? They should know. I could do one shot. So it looks, it looks better on mobile. But I'm going to focus on the product page. Right click and then click inspect. It'll go as a, a mobile. Um, you are with You can right click the, you can right click anywhere. And then there'll be like an inspect. Maybe. Uh, my laptop don't be doing the right click. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got it for the boat line. If I got you, bro. I got you. No worries. All right. Yeah. This is the, the party page. Mobile view. It's a very branded. Y'all can see it? Yeah, we can see it. Yes. I said it was like a like it was it. It's bomb. So you're saying like general stores won't have uh, really any luck with the uh, like organic tra views, the organic traffic? No, because it's really like you'll have to build your customer's trust with organic. So if, if I just see a funny video and I see the product in the video and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Then I go to their store and it looks like, it looks like they're just selling anything. It'll look like they don't really got their stuff together. And it's not... Like, I might get scammed or something. Right. I really just try to build a trust. That probably piece looks good. And the photos, too. Have you, um, nah, this is only just been hit in, in the conversion rate. Because I know with this, it doesn't kind of, it shows, uh, shows being used differently, kind of like a food tray. Have you thought about, like, putting your way of using it right here as a gif? Um, I thought about it, but I seen like Shopify will start acting up if you do that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Maybe start holding your Cheetos like that. Even with Cheetos, you know how that? Mm. And I said, nah, I can't play with the Shopify. <laughs> I yeah, because I seen with like products in this niche when you start making a lot of money and your um website is like structured like that, they'll start holding the payments. Oh, for sure. I know we can go more with this too, but clean as a whistle. Yes, indeed. Anybody have any questions about the product page? Look at some good image photos. 
simplistic for sure. So is the product well. Yes, indeed. Guys, bundles. Yep. Fun as people in, get them through. So it's the, that was you, Jesse? Nah. No, I was saying, though, like, we got, like, real similar stores, like, in terms of, like, the blueprint. Yeah, that's true. When, like, nah, nah, it's a great format. Yeah. It's a fantastic format, girl. Really well. Good, it's a good theme, too. Come on. But nah, it's super fire. Got the video as it comes straight to this. They come here. Well, when they see the consistency, how long have you had this Instagram? Um, I think I posted the first video on June 4th. So it's been 24 days. Yeah. And able to grow 12K followers on here. Super fire. And also, one another thing, you could, I say, wait a couple of days and then you could repost your viral videos and sometimes they'll go even more viral. Not like TikTok where you got to change up everything every time. You could literally just repost the video. Like I posted, um, I had two viral videos and then I just reposted them. And I think both of them got like three to 400,000 views just on me saving it and reposting it. Did you put a different sound? Just like literally the exact same thing. Exact like same video. Like this one right here that you want right now. That was the one that had 3 million views. I just reposted it. Wow. Legit. <laughs> nah, the comment section going crazy. You can definitely, uh, and, uh, that you can definitely use those as, uh, things to target. But nah, this is super, it's real big. 59 post, but it's consistency. This yeah, is what I see about what I see about Instagram is it's the video will mainly go viral when you get when you get people to start arguing in your comment. <laughs> do you initiate it or do you just like uh, at first I didn't, but now I'm like I'm starting to think of ways to start it because I'm starting to like my content is getting better, so I'm automatically getting views. Mm -hmm. But it's like it'll cap off at like three to four hundred thousand instead of making it to like a million and all that because people would just stop commenting if you got an argument or something in there they'll just keep pushing it out yeah 100 percent. do you ever comment like on your personal under your stuff you're like what is this they'd be like sorry stuff or that uh i, I did yesterday on my burner account i didn't really um i don't want to do it on my main on my personal account because i don't want like my name i don't want people to know that i'm selling this <laughs> <laughs> People go be like, wait, I had looks familiar. <laughs> Some people I knew they was like they was like, Are you smoking? I'm like, no, nah, that's just my humidifier under the fall like yeah. <laughs> that is funny. He's using two products at once. That, <laughs> that's really good. And just using it to your full advantage. That's super good. And I know we got like twenty minutes. So I ain't trying to I ain't trying to end it too early. I definitely wanna Leave some time for any questions, but don't want to force nothing at all. But nah, this is very insightful and always, always super cool. And he's from my hometown. Like that's, it brings a super, a different type of joy. Like he's my friend's little brother. So like, man, that's like, be able to just do some fire. That's hey, I can put the question for you, Keon. Well, is that that? Jesse? I did hear you. Um, so like with my product, do you think that's a product where I can go ahead and create like another store specifically for that? Yeah, if I don't want, you know what I mean? Because like, I don't want to do a full product that makes it look floppy. No, 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 no. Oh, for for the the way what you're trying to do? No, nah, for because I want to do like how a uh, press is doing it, but you know you got to have like a niche website. Mine is more of a general store, so I was wondering if I take the you take the product that I got. Cause you remember we were talking about branding earlier, or we messaged about it. Do you think I could go that route with it, or I just don't want to create a niche website for a product and go through that and then the product flop? Yeah, no, no, no. Do it for your specific. Like, don't even make another another Shopify store just change your dope like buy a new the domain name and create a new logo but you think it can work for that product I got yeah you just gotta we just gotta copy the same videos that are on on uh, going viral and stuff but yeah it could for sure work for your product especially you yeah. have a lot of 
Because I was going to ask you, too, do you think Steve would feel with, like, if I pay them, would they send me one out for their price or would I have to go? Because I want to get a product of my own, but Amazon sells it for more than what I would get it for, from Steve would feel, of course. If you want to just test out Steve but yeah, they'll definitely send it to you. But um, if you want to be there quick, like tomorrow or, like, depending on if it's Prime, you can right. get Amazon. But, yeah, we'll do this for you, one. Okay. But no, you for sure need to create a brand off what you got going on. A thousand percent is, is a hundred percent that time. That's what I'm thinking. And seeing how Breston does it, it's like, uh, if I could tell my product that I got now and like that and bring in the same traffic without the ass food. Yeah. Been so- Both of them go crazy though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got another, uh, I see if I can bring her on. Her name's Clavia and she has a dress brand and, um, she does organic too as well. But she makes both, like both. And she's like, can like, Honey, comma, two hundred yeah. months. Okay, see. and also just so you're not wasting your time, like with this product, I started posting three times a day, June fourth, and I didn't make my website until June ninth. So I still ordered the product and everything, but I waited to see if it was gonna do good before even making a website. Right. Okay. That's. Oh, do you think you could like take a look at my store? Like just real quick, share. I'll share my screen. Up. For sure. Well, Jesse got to see it. Man, he was talking about a product like this. Yeah, so like it looked really like similar to um. You can see my screen. Nope, uh, not yet. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. There. Yeah, so like it's like basically the same exact like type of uh thing, but yeah. I was wondering, like, you think I should, like, keep the reviews, like, because some of these are, like, bad reviews, like, but, like, they're from, like, AliExpress, you know, the, um, I forget what it's called, it's called, like, Judge.me, like, it's, like, an app on Shopify, so it just brings over, like, AliExpress reviews, so, like, some of them, like, not good reviews, like, you think I should keep this, or just, like, I seen how, uh, his store had, like, I guess, like, just, like, three reviews at the bottom, like, it wasn't, like, you know, like, actual, like, I guess, like, random, like, reviews. Yeah, you think uh-huh. I should do that or like have like I guess these? Oh, I I would still keep that, but above your frequently asked questions, add like you have it on this left hand side. It's just a shrine theme, yeah. but it, on the left hand side, if you scroll down the blocks or sections, add a section of um or on this left hand side, my fault. Yeah, so I say you click right here. All right here. Should like something should pop up right there whenever you hover over it. Click on it. Nothing pops up. No, I can uh, let you take. Um, it'll be right here. It's above that collapsible one, so it should be below. I should go down a little bit more. It'll be add section. Dang, there's no add section. I think I got like a custom theme. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, click yeah, add section. Perfect. Oh. And then testimonials. You can type it in if it's in there. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I got it. Awesome. It says. Use multi-column. That should work. Yeah, multi-column right there. Okay. Yeah. And then inside of these, if you click on one of them. I should just add like a view and then. Yeah. You should have one though. I seen, well, it was from your, your other reviews down there. So you could take like, this you yeah. add. Put it there, then you'll put the heading. You can put the five stars, so you can put okay. the stars, and then right here, put that text. Yeah, I got you. And like, I guess like, is there anything I could improve from here? Because I think one of the things I didn't focus on was I was looking desktop mode, like I or I like what it would look like, like what my website would look like if I was on a computer. But like, since like I'm doing organic now and stuff, I see like you gotta like really focus on the mobile type. Like, is there anything I could like? I guess like make better because it's on mobile now. Yeah, and and, and like ninety eight percent here is always gonna be on mobile, like regardless. Yeah, so that's why I was like, I would do. You see how much text you scroll down? Yeah, that's a lot of text right here. Yeah, yeah. so I should shorten it. Really. Same thing with the down and scroll down a little bit more. Uh, this one too. That's a lot of text. Right okay, here. so I thought. Yeah, should I, mean, like, I see. Should I, like do bullets or something or like two cent? Uh, two sentences and let your gifs or images do the talking for you oh so like at line where so these is breathing older 
a good uh, gift for my baby. Like, be more of like, depends on like the GIF and image that you utilize and make those yeah. chords well. So, that's pretty good. Okay. All right, good for my baby. That's cool. Yeah, I got one for like dogs. Like, and I see. Should I like ask, should like for my like headline, should I like ask a question or like a statement or something? Like, more so of a statement. Your first, the only question you really want to throw at it is going to be your attention grabber. So, kind of how you have your first one, where it's mm -hmm. like, is it a baby? That'd be like the only question. Okay. The other one would be more of a statement. So, like, calms anxiety. I really had to look at a competitor to get a really good idea. But, um, yeah, you say statements kind of like this, like universal calmings for babies and pets, pretty decent. But it's really these long texts right here. Okay, I see that. Free advice check out anxiety related problems. Okay. Scott, some appreciate that. Yeah, I guess I'll one more the gifts up here. So, should I like change this? Because I just got it as like number one rated, really. The biggest thing that. Sorry. We're, we're, we're getting them. All right, the good way. I would lead with that, honestly. Okay. Something in that, like, yeah, I would lead with that. Not okay. so much soothing, but like anxiety is a pressure point. Right. So. You're hitting the nail on the head with that kind of a, with that sort of messaging. You know, you're, instead of being so broad, you know, babies, dogs, girlfriend, bring it all home. Anxiety, separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then that's like, I feel like this part is a little wacky. Is that, or you think it's cool? Like, it's not as sleek. Is there a way that you can do something different? He's on Shrine, isn't he? Yeah, but it's like a custom version of it, so that's why I also got like uh down here, like I got the like waves kind of like just a little bit of motion to. We got the same thing. I'm gonna send you a different. Oh well, it'll it'd be just like this. It looks yeah. like oh, that one has a little bit of different ones, like the testimonial one. Okay. Yeah, you know, before and after with the two. Okay. Um, the only thing is we charge like five thousand dollars for it. What? <laughs> I was just kidding. I was like, I'm going to send it to you for free. I got you. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, you think like keeping them bundles is a good idea or like, I feel like, cause I don't really know if like. It's just for yours. It looks really big. Uh, right. It's That's like nice. the one thought, like the one person has, is a shrine thing that we all use mm -hmm. and it's like very sleek and, and it doesn't take up too much space. Like they always take a lot of space and it's a lot of scrolling with it. Right. It seems like that and the words. Like there's a lot of words that you're, you're running the wind. That's when people are reading it. Right. I'm saying this at everybody. I'm saying this. Like, if I did, like, a niche kind of store and I, like, organically did, like, other products, you think, like, it would work? Like, I know how uh, Preston said, like, maybe one product store, but, like, if I had, like, just other, like, similar, like, items, would that work for, like, organic or not? Nah? Like, you think, like, straight up one product? So I'm thinking, let's say you're a mom or something, and, like, you know, you see a product and, like, for, like, the stuffed animal or something, and then you might want, like, a fan or something else. Like, you might buy both, or no, that's not. What you think, Preston? Um, I mean, you could try it, but the thing is, in your bio, like, where your link is at, you could only put one link. Yeah, for sure. You probably have to end up putting just your homepage. Okay. That page right there that shows all the products. Right. You put your top two, the top two best selling at the top. Thank okay. you. Are you featuring any additional products with the Otter? Uh, not right now. Like, like I'm currently bought together. Yeah, like I'm like really just focusing. Like this is like my main thing. Like if you go to my homepage, like this is like the product. But like I got. Other ones, just so, like, I don't know, like, it seems like a more, how do I say, like, a, like, because my name is, like, home, it's not, like, a breathing otter or something, like, the, the store name, so, like, kind of, yeah. like, making the, and then, like, another thing with, I was trying to, like, make another Instagram account and just, like, posting, like, whether it's, like, uh, like, the fan or whatever, like, posting those type of organics, so, like, it's, like, two different, like, so, this is, like, the main, but, like, on the back burner, I might have, like, other ones that maybe could, because, like, this one isn't really, like, a, 
eye catcher. Like I know how pressing is like an eye catcher. You can do like fast movements with it, like different like you know sounds and type of thing. But like this one's more like a quiet, like slow pace. So that's why it's kind of like harder to organically market it. So that's why I was thinking like maybe if I do like like I don't know lights or something like some crazy things that you know you see on TikTok and stuff like that's eye catching. Like I guess like that 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 could be like two two I guess accounts and then like funneling them into this store but i'm not sure if that would work okay well uh coach has the if you're on that shrine four theme like he had this genius plan and hid the header and it makes each individual page look like its own landing page mm -hmm. it's freaking sweet and you might be able to run both products that way with oh, them coming that way and the header buried Sure. So you'd still have your general store and yeah, the logo is what it is. But yeah. until you got to the point where you were ready to brand, which I don't know, coach, you said what, like 50 sales is kind of when we start looking into there, that area. I mean, I got 50 sales. But if you bury your header, I don't know if right. coach can pull that up and show you what that looked like on his. Cause it's sleek. Mm -hmm. it is however it does I have to find a different code. Cause whenever you hide the header, it takes away the ability to add to cart. So it's like, um, oh, scroll up a little bit. Yeah. Like right here, this thing. Yeah. Cause oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. A few, whenever we did it, it would take away the ability to like, it would take, you either have to take them straight to checkout or it was get you not going to add to cart. So that's like one thing. But there's a code for it. Uh, which I'll try to get for sure. I'll definitely look at it. So like that, that be like, would y'all think that would be smart? Like, like this is my main product as one organic page, and then I got another one. Like this might I might run some like Facebook ads with, and then like I'm, I'll just have like a Instagram page like like Comfy Home Finds like that's my Instagram page name, and then like just like different like I don't know like home products you know like you see like lights, fans, whatever like those side like just posting organic with that. Would that be smart? Like, or should I just like focus on one? Like, you know what I mean? Like. Uh, for me, I know Preston's going to say something different. For me, it's like for um, effectiveness or just to have the easiest, the least resistance because each time you have to create another whole different uh, Instagram page or different right. page. Yeah, that's, I'm on a budget. It, was, it just takes a lot of time on that. Yeah, one. for sure. sure. Money, but um, I would do like one general and then just like just post videos and whichever right. I do. Okay. Like, geared towards that but that's the rest of the price say something different no nah, you could do that just just keep posting until you see like a a big difference in one product then i'll say right then I, yeah for, okay gotcha that's fine appreciate sure you right you said you got 50 more than 50 orders on that one is oh, that yeah. that's through uh tiktok ads right that's from yeah that, i got like three organics but yeah most Three organics? Yeah. What'd you start organic? Like this week, right? Uh, here, let me share my screen. I, uh, well, I mean, cause I kind of, I poke, like I seen the TikTok organic thing, but I never like really, I had my first post April, but then I didn't, April 20th, but then I just stopped posting for like a whole month. And then I started again, like, like I just barely, and then the like, June 11th is when I like really started, I guess, like posting every day. I haven't been consistent, but like now I've been like posting like three days, of, two, three days of, or two, two, three times a day. And what'd you get those three sales? Honestly, I got them like around May, I think. Okay. I like, I don't know how, like, to be honest, I don't know if it's the organic. I just know because I stopped running ads and I got sales. So this was the only way like somebody could actually get the link unless they somehow search up my store. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Okay. So, so, so smooth. Nah, I think I would definitely keep making the videos and I honestly would create a, a general page just so you can just, just rip them. Post anything, right? Just post them. Okay, gosh. Thanks. Fire. I'm going to stop. Um, we got like three more minutes. Definitely a fantastic call, but any last questions before we depart? Once again, Preston, bro, appreciate you coming along. Got to maybe run it back. Do another one, create some. Yeah, nah, might have to link up, create something. But yeah, nah, definitely big appreciated. No problem.
Any any questions? We all good. Definitely was a great one, a great insightful one. Good insights. Uh, very impressive with the results. You got so much more. You got so much time. You got so much value to give to the world just off of what you're doing right now. And just, man, you got so much time on your hands. Taking full advantage of it. That's so fire. And from the whole town, bro, like that hits home. Like that's that's so fire, bro. Genuinely. But yeah, no, no questions. Positive. I know we got two more minutes. Y'all excited to go in the weekend? That 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 bad? It's like it's been a good day. Hopefully, everyone in here has had a great Friday. But if there's no no uh, questions, once again, do appreciate it. And if any of y'all got any questions, you can put it in the in the chat. And then we back at it on Monday. We take an action all weekend. And if you guys need anything, reach out. But for so long, peace. All right, peace, peace. See y'all.